Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Doomhammer and welcome to a game called War for the Overworld. Now this is supposed to be the spiritual successor to the Dungeon Keeper series. Made by Bullfrog, then bought by EA. EA destroying Bullfrog like it destroys every other game developer, Westwood. Mostly. Maxis. Um, I believe that a couple of old developers of uh, Bullfrog left and then created their own game studio and made the spiritual successor as I believe and this is just something that I heard at some point that uh, the code name or the, the nickname for uh, Dungeon Keeper 3 what, which was in development at some point was supposed to be War for the Overworld so it would be Dungeon Keeper 3 War for the Overworld but of course, since uh, EA owns the name Dungeon Keeper, they can't use it, so they just made it War of the Overworld. Um, I am going to be playing the single player campaign. Um, I don't know any of the other things. I haven't played any uh, of this yet. I've looked at a skirmish. Hey, Raz. I've look looked at a skirmish to set it up for my uh, stream. And I think that uh, the camera and the chat and such are on good positions. I'll be going over the campaign. Um, I need to unlock the other two campaigns by playing War of the Overworld. Now go! Welcome back, Underlord. It's Overlord. I must say, I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. The transference may have left you feeling a bit foggy in the head. Focus now. I'll try to ease you back into it. Fortunately, this does seem to get easier each time. This is your home realm, the source of your power, and the anchor that binds you to reality. Many years ago, it was destroyed and you were cast out into formless nothing. Fortunately, you've returned from your exile to once again challenge those who would stand between us and the mortal realm of Kairos. Your resurrection heralds the next phase of our assault upon its wretched empire, now led by the newly crowned Emperor Lucius. But he is least and final of our worries. It's his generals and the protection of their goddess, Kira, that will truly test our metal. Ready yourself, Underlord. Let's begin our war for the overworld. Now, during this playthrough, I'm going to be uh, referencing uh, the Dungeon Keeper series quite a lot, and I do believe that the voice that you just heard is the announcer voice of the Dungeon Keeper series. Definitely Dungeon Keeper 2, maybe Dungeon Keeper 1 as well, I'm not too sure. Um, so I guess that I am Oberon, <coughs> but, or not, that I have to, uh, well, go this. Reset home realm, replay intro, reset campaign progress. No, thank you. Okay, so this is the home realm. I guess that I just have to start here. I've been looking for someone to spearhead my campaign. But before we get stuck in, let's refresh that old mind of yours. Sounds like a plan. Now, there are achievements, and uh, apparently you can unlock stuff with achievements. I have no clue... Um, like what the story of the game is but beyond uh, a successor of Dungeon Keeper uh, it's basically it plays the same from what I've seen in the 10 minute skirmish that I played it plays the same as Dungeon Keeper so let me explain in the meantime uh, as we continue as we play what uh, what things are as far as I'm aware Welcome back, Underlord. 
It's been a long time since you were banished to the ether. That's You've returned as a husk of your former self. But I've taught far denser underlords than you. Let's start with the basics. This is your dungeon core. The tether that allows you to manifest your malignant will. If destroyed, your consciousness will once again be scattered to the void. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. They have many jobs, but their main focus is in carving out the halls of your dungeon. Put them to work by clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles to tag them for excavation. Your what? workers will now rush forth to dig out and claim the tagged area. Once they have laid down the stones, marking the ground as your own, you will be able to build rooms upon the finished tiles. While so, your lucky is going to work, hey? look to the east of your dungeon core. This is a gateway, one of the many portals that you'll use to attract minions to your dungeon. Order your workers to dig a path to it now. Not yet, not yet. So, while I'm instructed to only dig out a uh, 3x3 three three area, I'm always uh, inclined to do 5x5. Five five. I'm not going to dig that out yet. So, what you see here, gold. Let's click to pick it up, right click to put it down. I can pick up my minions. They've leveled up. Right mouse to slap them. Right. So what they're doing now is reinforcing the walls so that it'll be harder for my enemies to dig through. But uh, let's go. So this is the dungeon heart. If this is destroyed, you lose. And if you're facing uh, an opponent um, keeper, you have they have their own dungeon heart, and you need to destroy that. So my minions will claim uh, land. This dirt is unclaimed land, but this tile here is claimed land. You can only build on claimed land. Now that you have a gateway, oh. minions oh. can enter into your service. But first, you'll need to build the rooms necessary to entice them in. Start by building a barracks. This room will allow your minions to hone their combat skills without the risk of permanent death or disfigurement. Select so. it and build it by clicking and dragging your hand across the claimed tiles. Most rooms must be built at least three by three in order to function properly. There you go. Though the lair and vault are effective at any size. Yeah. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the barracks, these green-skinned scrappers aren't quite right in the head and they'll happily hack at your foes until someone is dead. Outside of combat, Gnarlings will train themselves within your barracks. You can pick them up with a click if you find them slouching off, then deposit them anywhere within your dungeon with a right click. For further entertainment, you can always put yourself directly into their head by casting possession upon them. And this is... Possession. <laughs> and nothing has entered your dungeon. <laughs> so now I'm, in, I'm uh, possessing this gnarling. You can increase the efficiency of props within your rooms by fortifying the walls closest to the props. Workers will fortify walls automatically when they've completed all their other tasks. Now that you have some minions, you will need to cater for their basic needs. First, build a lair, uh, so the yeah. pitiful little meat sacks can get some rest. So once again, five by five. So yeah, this is, uh, I guess, the training room from the Dungeon Keeper series, the barracks. <coughs> Where your guys will level up. There you go. Just slap them. This is the uh, minion pit. This is where your uh, well creatures will spawn from. And what I'll do is I'll actually excavate this. So 
to make it a nice 5x5 five 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 area. Well done. Go. But see how your gold reserves have been depleted. Yep. Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold by tagging the gleaming tiles. They collect and return gold to your dungeon coffers, allowing you to spend it on whatever your dark heart desires. Your core can store up to 16,000 gold pieces. But if that number sounds pitifully small, or if wealth inspires the evil in you, simply build a vault to store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a slaughter pan. This room produces scores of micro piglets, a delicacy that will sustain the weak flesh of your minions by filling their bellies with succulent pig flesh. I love this guy's voice over. It's awesome. There you go. So, nice little uh, thing here. Start with a 3x3. Okay, so your guess... dungeon has been breached. Cast rally upon these spectres, and your minions will immediately sally forth to wreak bloody havoc. Your dungeon core is under attack. Well. Okay then. There we go. Well done. Now finish off the rest of these manifestations with a second rally flag. Now, where can I rally? Ah, here we go. There we go. So that's how you rally. Your gnarlings made short work of those spectres. But see how they still circle the flag. You can dismiss rally flags by there slapping them with a right click. This should allow your minions to return to their <coughs> jobs and tend their needs in a timely fashion. You can cast recall upon a minion to immediately return them to your dungeon. Though if they are attacked as it channels, then the spell will fizzle into nothing. You're on a roll, Underlord. And I've been waiting far too long to begin my war for the overworld. Let us enter the realm of Kairos and continue your retraining against a more fitting enemy. Well, oh, I was about to say, I'm gonna explore the map a little because there might be some stuff there. Well done, Underlord. I see it's all coming back quite quickly. I expected nothing less, but there's much still to learn. Why don't we work in a bit of murder while we're at it? It's time for you to enter the realm of Kairos. Okay, well, I definitely want to get those um, achievements done, so I'm going to replay the mission. I guess that this uh, first episode on YouTube is going to be a little longer. Welcome back, Underlord. You've returned. Skip. This is your dungeon core. The tether that allows you to manifest your malignant will. If destroyed, Five. your consciousness will once again be scattered to the Five. void. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. They have many jobs, but their main focus is in carving out the halls of your dungeon. Put them to work by clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles to tag them for excavation. Your workers will now rush forth to dig out and claim the tagged area. Once they have laid down the stones, marking the ground as your own, so, you will be able to there. build rooms upon the finished tiles. While your luckies get to work, 
Look to the east of your dungeon core. This is a gateway. One of the many portals that you'll use to attract minions to your dungeon. Order your workers to dig a path to it now. Now that you have a gateway, minions can enter into your service. But first, you'll need to build the rooms necessary to entice them in. Start by building a barracks. This room will allow your minions to hone their combat skills without the risk of permanent death or disfigurement. Select it and build it by clicking and dragging your hand across the claimed tiles. Most rooms must be built at least three by three in order to function properly. Though the lair and vault are effective at any size. Okay, more about this. Nope. Come on. Get to work. Claim. Okay. Um. No. Well, you can cheat a little bit, I guess. Wunderbar, jawohl! <laughs> so, 5x5 five five. barracks lair, I guess, as it's called. There we go. Not effective yet. <coughs> For fur. Okay. Now, something else, please. How on earth are you supposed to do this in five minutes if it takes this long? You can increase the efficiency of props within your rooms by fortifying the walls closest to the props. Workers will fortify walls automatically when they've completed all their other tasks. Now that you have some minions, you will need to cater for their basic needs. First, build a lair, so the pitiful little meat sacks can get some rest. Well done. But see how your gold reserves have been depleted. Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold by tagging the gleaming tiles. They collect and return gold to your dungeon Already coffers, done. allowing you to spend it on whatever your dark heart desires. Your core can store up to 16,000 gold pieces. But if that number sounds pitifully small, or if wealth inspires the evil in you, simply build a vault to vault. store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a slaughter pan. This room produces scores of micro piglets, a delicacy that will sustain the weak flesh of your minions Where am I by filling to their build bellies that? with succulent pig flesh. Okay, so I can't build it. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Uh, I can't sell stuff. So, altar pen. I guess a vault. That's an achievement. Shut up, fatties. 
Your dungeon has been breached. Cast Rally upon these spectres, and your minions will immediately sally forth to wreak bloody havoc. <coughs> Well done. Now finish off the rest of these manifestations with a second rally flag. Your gnarlings made short work of those spectres. But see how they still circle the flag. You can dismiss rally flags by slapping them with a right click. This should allow your minions to return to their jobs and tend their needs in a timely fashion. You can cast recall upon a minion to immediately return them to your dungeon. Okay, okay. Though so if they are attacked nothing. as it channels, then the spell will fizzle into nothing. There we go. That's all to do the trick. You're on a roll, Underlord. And I've been waiting far too long to begin my war for the overworld. Let us enter the realm of Kairos and continue your retraining against a more fitting enemy. Okay, if I don't get the five minute thing, then I'm just gonna skip it. Well done, Underlord. Yep. I see it's all coming back quite quickly. I expected nothing less, but there's much still to learn. Why don't we work in a bit of murder while we're at it? It's time for you to enter the realm of Kairos. Awesome. Just a second. Um... Remove all of those. 